What's up guys, it's Schneidy here. And today, we got some insane content today. We got brand new all-star packs today with our first Dark Matters of the year in packs today. So we got Dark Matter Kobe, T-Mac, and Russell Westbrook. Now, if I'm keeping it real, they're good cards, but they're not that good. R Russell Westbrook's... <laughs> oh my god, he might be a buyout. That's actually hilarious. The first Dark Matters of the game might be a buyout. That's kind of funny. Westbrook sucks. Westbrook is actually terrible. Then we have T-Mac, who's unbelievable, and Kobe, who's unbelievable. So, some good Dark Matters and one pretty bad one. Then we have some nice Opals in Carmelo Anthony. Is he a buyout? He might be insane for a buyout. Like, he could come into my team. Jokic, you know what? For 100k, he's probably not even that bad. And then Zach Levine's probably over 100k. Zach Levine, this might be the best card of the drop. This card is nuts. He's like, he's very similar to Devin Booker, except he can move a lot better. So, there's him. Then we get to the pink diamonds. Tom Javers, LeBron, Glenn Rice. Uh, LeBron, I can't wait to get him on my team. He's around like 35k right now. I'm going to wait till he's below 30k to pick him up. Uh, I have Dwight Howard just from this free pack here. I also do have a lot of stuff to sell in my collection, so I should be at more MTE soon. Um, but yeah, we're doing a gameplay today on Pink Diamond Glen Rice. Now, when I saw this card, I thought maybe he could be good, because usually he's always a solid, solid card in 2K, uh, since 2K20 at least. In 2K20, that man was unbelievable, but he's dirt cheap. Like, this card is super cheap. How much is he? Oh my gosh, he's less than 10k. I didn't, I actually did not know the price of this card before loading up today. Um, 7.9. Give me that. For a 47 badge card, I think that's definitely a cop. I also, if we go to, uh, I don't want to open a pack. As we go to my unopened packs, you see I did get Galaxy Opal Shea Gilgis Alexander. So I'll open them up at a different time, maybe off camera, and then we'll use them on camera. We also got these all-star event packs, which is insane. So I'll be completing this. Hopefully, you know what? If I'm not doing anything by the weekend. I should complete this by the weekend. When the weekend is over, I should probably get this done. Um, but the card I really want to get is Murray. Um, Jamal Murray, where is he? For Jamal Murray, you need to evolve. Wait, what? To get him, you need to evolve NBA. I guess you just go in order. Uh, okay. Sure. Um, oh yeah, I see. So you get it, maybe... Okay. Sure. Alright, I get it now. But we, uh, we should go over the card that I picked up. By the way, this is my limited team, if you are wondering. I made about 10 kids rage quit before I finally got the ring, so it really was not that difficult. But Glenn Rice here. Let's see what he is all about. By the way, this card art is insane. I really like it. The stars in the background, like, it's not like the crazy soft star um, background, but it is clean. So Glenn Rice, 99 offense, 90 defense, 6 foot 7. We already know what he's going to be like shooting wise. Like 97 3. Actually, a really good post game. 85 driving dunk solid 86 ball handling his defense all around is actually pretty solid and his you know what his stats are actually very good Badges wise he's got 10 hoffs including catch and shoot corner specialist blinder circus d3s of course did I sniper He's got difficult shots on goal glue hands pickpocket or pick dodger that is clamps intimidator posterizer rebound chaser uh, Mismatch expert lucky number seven chef does he have quick first step he does so badges wise he isn't missing much like interceptor i could see um he is missing there which is a badge you do need if you plan on using this card and probably like handles for days and besides that i don't know what else he's missing maybe menace i don't see i don't think i remember seeing menace on him um but going into freestyle here um glenn rice number 41 i believe he has yeah base dribble style from that burst uh, which is actually pretty nice. Dunking, he should be pretty good. I love his player model though. He looks a lot taller than six foot seven. 
The release is base 13, which honestly, it's a like it or hate it release. I actually don't mind it. The thing I don't like about it is that it can get a ton of load ups, which is a big problem. But his uppers actually seems good enough. Like Danny Green's release. Oh my God, I hate that release. That base 13 sucks, but this is actually not too terrible. Uh, I remember his Amethyst card when I was doing his XP a couple seasons ago. He was actually wasn't the worst card to use. Uh, let's check his behind the back though. Uh, Curry behind the back. So it looks like he's got Tatum Sigs, which isn't the worst, I guess. Uh, but you can see there, no handles for days is huge. He loses stamina quick. So, I mean, what this card is, he's going to be one of the better cones in the game for sure. Like, he's going to shoot the lights out and play okay defense. Now, if you plan on using this card a lot, then you do need to put on an Interceptor. Because, I mean, without Interceptor, he won't be able to get that many steals, but... All around, this card actually looks insane for 9 KMT. Uh, nice leaner, of course. So let's green a 3. And now let's play some clutch time. So yeah, I'm excited to use that new Galaxy of Plache, Gilgis Alexander. Um, he actually looks really nice. Like, he's a 6'6 six, six point guard. He is missing range. I don't know if you can put it on him. Um, depending on how much I like him, he might, might be my starting point guard. But... Uh, let's go into clutch time here and take out D-Book. Uh, it's probably best running him at the 2. At the 3, he... Uh, depending on how I play, I think he'll just be, be be better at the 2. But So we got Markel, Glenn Rice, Tatum, Thurl, and Yao Ming. Our newest... Or, yeah, our, I guess second newest Galaxy Opal now that we got Shay. Um... Yeah, I got Yao Ming yesterday. If you didn't see that video, he is unbelievable. I've been using him a little bit uh, since yesterday, and he's a beast. I see Darren Collison, and oh no. Uh, he's got a bad team. Battie, what is this team? Oh, man, he just started. <laughs> well, this should be an easy win. Uh, yeah, it's a little unfortunate for him. Yao Ming win us the tip, and let's get it to Glenn Rice. He's got... Rudy Fernandez on me, which is not a good idea for him. As Rudy Fernandez actually plays good defense there. Set this screen. He is literally just off balling this. Wide open. Glenn Rice for three. Misses the first shot, but hits the second. Yeah, I actually don't mind that release. I really don't. Um Like it's not the greatest, but it's really not that bad. This guy sucks. Alright, let's just see what we can do here with half range. And a Glenn Rice card. Can we hit that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We can hit four pointers. It's half range. You can hit from anywhere. Uh, he might already be gone. Yeah, he's gone. So that was a short lived game. <laughs> yeah. That was probably the worst opponent I've played in a long time. Uh, what? Where's my wheel spin? And my win? Oh, come on, 2K. I actually really don't care enough about it, but I don't know how that didn't give me a win. Because it usually doesn't give you a win when they don't play. Uh, before the tip-off, or like before each team has a possession. Uh, Lou Williams, Fournier, okay, and also not a good team. So not too many crazy opponents right now in the clutch time streets. Uh, that uh, new Amethyst Derek Jones Jr. is actually a very interesting card, because... I mean, before they patched the six a couple months ago, he would have been insane with that base five and pro three, but now he doesn't have pro three anymore. Okay. Some questionable defense by me to start. No way. All right, let's go. Yao Ming with the rebound, of course. Glenn Snatch. Oh yeah. No, what? That's a 10? With a guy with no clamps or menace? Really? find that hard to believe nope he's just doing challenges so another win could happen here oh open midi i'll take that uh you know what the midi it's not used that much in this game but if it's open i'll take it all right good defense nope okay terrible defense actually I'm not quite sure what just happened there. My corners just dropped. I haven't put in settings, so it's probably why. Four-pointer. No way that's a nine. It doesn't matter. He's going to hit every shot. 
Oh man, was that a six or a nine? Um, I don't really remember, but his defense is actually playing pretty well so far. As you gotta get that rebound. Oh my god, no way. And I can't icon. <laughs> oh, this game. No way. No way. Oh man, he's hit a 37%. Okay. Here we go, boys. I could have shot that, if I'm being honest. But let's. I want the layup. You. M okay, but I missed the 37. Right back on him. No way. That's actually stupid. Nope. No way. If that goes in. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> he's, he's golden. He hits an early 27. Give me that. Oh my god. <laughs> that release is actually pretty nice. Look at Glenn Rice carrying us right now after this guy's getting bailed out of his mind. That's a steal. Thank you, Tatum. Alright, go to the corner. Yeah. Glenn, right, no way. All right, okay, get it to Tatum. The thorough, maybe he'll drop corner. Okay, his defense isn't very good. Oh, Markel. I actually just missed him. That's my fault. I gotta hit that, nope. I hit B, what is, okay. Post, Tatum. Finally, all right. That was the worst possession I might have had in a long time. <laughs> that was really bad right there. Uh, okay, don't guard on him. I mean, it's fine. He's shooting late. Get in the post. Oh, you gotta hold that. Is it a jump ball or is it his ball? It's No, it's their ball, is it? I don't know. Oh, no, it's actually a jump ball. Alright, we gotta win this jump ball. Salute Williams. Come on. There we go. Glenn's showing off his vert a little bit. Oh, don't sag off. Don't sag off of him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You green so much with that release. It's crazy. That's another steal of Tatum. That's his third, I think. I see Markel. I see Tatum. I want to shoot with Glenn, though. Glenn, get open. Let's see. Let's see. Can he hit this post fade? From the corner? No way. Okay, that would have been actually too... That would have been too crazy. Uh, but he has 12 points for us. I think he might have a steal. I don't. Hey, actually, I don't think he has a steal. He, but he is playing good defense for us. Like I said, not the craziest opponent, but still, as he misses a free throw, that's a yikes. All right, go. And he's fouling me. That is a little bit unfortunate because it is Markel Fultz. But points are points. Let's knock down the first one. I still, to this day, I'm using Amethyst Markel Fultz in my clutch time lineup because honestly, I think he's, <laughs> for me, better than uh, Jeremy Lin right now. In clutch time, that is. I still love Jeremy Lin as triple threat, but. Uh, dude, what are you trying to do? I know you're trying to get points, but still, that's an easy three. That is too easy for him. And, oh, I thought he was about to quit. Uh, so, Glenn Rice, first two games just played in extremely well first game i mean it was a pretty bad opponent so it was the second game but at least the guy was playing and had a this guy has a viable team unlike five emeralds okay dude what are you trying to do what are you you know what just you gotta i don't even know what to tell you at this point is he gonna start double teaming oh he's gonna have to start double teaming me but it doesn't matter. It's Glenn Rice. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Uh, I stand correct. That release is so nice. Uh, I don't need XP. So I don't care if I get 20 points. But it would be nice to get 20 points. Can we hit the step back? Can we hit... Okay. Oh, he fouled me. He fouled. No, he quit. Oh, I really wanted the 20 points with him. But we got 19 points with him. I don't know what... I didn't look at the um, box score, so I think he only missed like two or three shots. This card, man, this card is fun. I wouldn't say he's like elite, but for his price, he's very good. I actually, he's a lot better than I thought he was gonna be. His, he actually moves quite well. Uh, I know base dribble style is not the best, 
but you can get bursts with it if you know what you're doing. Uh, like I said, that 97 three-pointer, we could definitely see it. He was hitting contested. He was hitting fours from way downtown. Uh, I didn't really have any dunks with him, so I don't know how that was. But his defense wasn't even that bad. This card is good. Now, for 10K, who's better? Like, looking at shooting guard, that's like... Is Derek Anderson better? That's actually... That's a tough one. I gonna say Derek Anderson's better just because defensively and movement wise he's better but I mean height I, don't, I mean they're close that's a very very close call I don't know he's better than KPJ in my opinion I do think he's better than KPJ um yeah so it's looking like those two guys and then small forwards that's not what I wanted um and then small forwards like LeBron is definitely better than him uh, and then I don't think there's many pe other people that are that good at uh, small forward uh, pink diamonds. Uh, is he better than Lamar? No, I don't think he's better than Lamar Odom. Because Lamar Odom has a lot better length at the three if you want to use him there. And then like these new guys, I mean, this, uh, what is it? Larry Nance is very good. So I really don't know. He's a very nice card and he surprised me a ton in this game. So that is going to be the gameplay. Be on the lookout for another one very soon. Please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.